In the vast world of Bloch's fruits, there exists a celestial force, a race so majestic that all others pale in comparison, and I am going to be getting this godly power, but before we do that we have to get V2 and V3 which will help us towards having it for ourselves. We do have human race right now, so we are going to try and switch it with the Death King. Let's hope we get it first try because I don't have that many bones right now. Let's go we got it. So this is the game plan guys. Firstly we get V2 and V3. Then we get help from people and get V4. So let's go second C. And now that we are here let's talk to the archaeologist and collect all the three different flowers. Since it is night time right now we have to get the blue flower first. This is because it only spawns at night. There are a few places it can spawn so let's look for it. It is kind of easy since we have portal fruit and we can just teleport to all the locations. Okay we check graveyard and all the other places so let's head on to remote. And we found a blocks fruit nice. And here it is guys we finally get it. The master of aura is here but I already have that. Now let's look for the yellow flower which you can only get by killing NPCs. And that was fast. We already got it let's go guys. Okay it's daytime now guys so let's try finding the last flower which is the red flower. This flower does only spawn during daytime so yeah let's get to finding it. Okay it's not here. It's not here in the mansion either. Normally it's hidden somewhere here. Let's go to green zone it's there most of the time. And here it is. Let's talk to the archaeologist now and get V2. After this we can get V3. Okay from V2 we got a stronger first jump and double jump. Now let's head on to the dog house. And here we are. He wants us to kill someone from our own race. So yeah I am angel so we have to kill someone else who is using angel race. Now the easiest way to do this is just by asking someone. I asked this guy and he agreed to let me straight away. Thanks bro. Okay now that we're back here let's buy it. And it cost 2 million peli which is pretty expensive but yeah no one said this was going to be an easy process. Alright now that we got V2 and V3. We are now on 3rd C to get started with getting our first V4 gear. If you guys don't know V4 has 4 gears so we have to do 4 trials and win them all. Okay little disruption guys. I know all of you have been asking me about my discord server so i decided that it was time i'm excited to announce that i just made a new one so if you join it then it will mean a lot i will do a giveaway once we get 50 members on that server it's in the description and pinned comment and if you don't already know i am doing a mammoth fruit giveaway to join just like subscribe comment your username and join my discord server and roblox group which are again in the pinned comment anyways this is the first trial that we are going to do and we will win for sure hopefully if you guys are interested then leave it in the comments i'll make a full video on how to start doing v4 trials and how to find mirage island and the full moon ended so now let's go to a new server and now we are here let's get started okay let's hope we can do this angel trial now as you can see it is parkour and let's go we actually did it and someone failed the trail which means we have to quickly start again before the full moon ends and we are unable to do it okay he is back now and we are in the trial again now all we need to do is win this and our friends are in the trial so they are going to let me win thank you guys and they both reset it by the way guys i gave them nothing so i really appreciate them doing that now all we have to do is go up these stairs and put in the first gear which will give us max stats and everything every time we activate our v4 this is the same for all v4 and now let's put it in and there we unlocked a new title which is called his majesty that's pretty cool you know okay and this guy is telling us to come back once we have trained more so let's go train and bro this v4 stance is so sick the aura around me looks so good as well probably one of the best looking v4s i've seen so far human v4 is cool too but the way he is folding his arms and floating in the air is super cool and since this is the first trial let's train three times basically what this means is that we have to get v4 three times or for like three minutes continuously so we get it once and let it finish and we do that three times thank you kiffridge for the help he helped us do all three of the training sessions the best way to train is by getting sanguinard and getting another person who uses it then you can keep using the z move on each other so you can keep healing each other like this another tip is to do eight training sessions after the first trial this is because you need three training sessions for the first trial and five training sessions for the second trial so if you just do eight at the start you can do two trials without having to wait and train okay now we are ready for our second trial five four three two one and we are in let's quickly jump here and here and we are done with the trial now let's just wait for the rest okay guys in this trial i don't have friends inside it except like one i think so let's hope we can win and these guys are cooking us if i die i'ma be sad We sadly lost that fight. I think we might have made a mistake untransforming and activating V4 like that. But it's fine since we still have time to do another trial. So yeah let's hope we win. Let's do this obby real quick and now let's fight. Soul guitar is really coming in clutch here.
let's go we won that fight, just a little side note but if anyone with over 10 million bounty is watching this then please comment down your username, because I want to make a series from 2.5 million bounty to 30 million bounty, so if you are willing to teach me the ways then let me know, now let's put in the gear, with this gear our aura will give nearby players, slowness, damage, energy drain and more, and since we already trained before we are already ready for the next trial, ok a few minutes later and we are in another server, jump here and here and we are done with the obby, now let's fight. After that fight which was only a few seconds for you guys, we have won, now let's go put in the gear, I never really liked the flight for now, so I chose all effects are increased greatly. Since this was the third gear we will have to do 3 separate training sessions then we will be ready for our next trial. What this means is we have to get 3 minutes of awakening for the first upgrade, then 5 minutes for the second one and lastly 5 minutes for the last one. Also for every one we do it does cost a lot of fragments so yeah this is not cheap. Now let's get to training. Thank you king 310 for helping me with training. So yeah we did the same sanguine art technique. And my aura is so strong now guys I kept accidentally killing him. Seems like we have to train more, and with this training session we should be done with the first one. And there we go we got it, it was 2000 fragments which is 2 raids, now let's get the second one, and there we are, another 2250 fragments. This is the last one now and it was 2500 fragments, we are ready for the next trial. And if we win this trial then we will just have to do 5 more training sessions to be maxed out v4 which is crazy. Yes we did not have to fight for this one because I got my friends to help out, and they reset and let me win which means all we need now is the 5 training sessions before we are maxed out v4. Alright let's put in this final gear. This final gear is actually mad, with this one we will be able to fly every time we have v4 activated which is so cool. So let's go test it out now, this is what it's like when you are in close range with an angel who has v4 activated, our health is draining and our energy is not going up, now let's test out the angel flight, it's so fast bro, and I think you can fly as high as you want which is pretty sick, we are literally flying in the air bruh, ok I was about to get my first upgrade but I glitched out so what better way than to just glitch back in so simple. Ok the first one is 3000 fragments but this is all going to be worth it since it's increasing our v4 duration every time, and with this one we have the second upgrade too, I don't know if I mentioned this before but angel v3 is too good, it gives you health extremely fast so if you are in a pvp match don't forget to use v3, we also got the next upgrade which was 3250 fragments, just 3 more to go, and guys with it we have it fully maxed out, as you can see we have made this power our own and we can't upgrade it anymore. So yeah I didn't want you guys to get bored by watching me do the same thing 5 times so I just skipped to when I fully got it. Now I'm going to test it out and show you everything, the flight, damage, slowness and everything else that Angel Race has, and tell you guys if it is worth getting or not. So yeah make sure you guys keep watching because this video is still not near done. Ok now firstly this is what the transformation looks like, and as you can see the flight is quite fast and decent so you can escape a pvp match if you don't want to lose bounty, and now the v3, it does heal us pretty fast so that with the soul guitar is going to give you full health in no time, now the slowness effect, he is struggling to escape so now is the time you can use your combos, I personally love using sanguine z because it pulls them closer and damages them by the ability itself, and also by the effect of the aura which deals ridiculous damage, he had shark v4 activated but we still did 9 k damage with just one ability which is crazy so yeah i recommend using abilities which brings them closer to you and yeah that's all i have for today if you want to see me getting max cyborg v4 or ghoul v4 in the next video then please like and subscribe also join my discord server and roblox group down in the pinned comment bye